Lady and gentlemen, if you were to guess what the dirtiest event in Olympic history, so what sport it was, but also one singular event, what was the dirtiest event in Olympic history? What would it be? Could you name the sport at least? Don't get it yet? It's weightlifting. Oh my goodness, I don't believe it. That was so easy, it's unbelievable. Yeah, of course it's weightlifting, right? I wanna show you guys this article. I don't know what year it was written, but there's a paragraph in it that is just hysterical. With his very last lift of the competition, Ilian, 24, broke one world record in the clean and jerk and another for a combined total. It won him the second of his Olympic gold medals. He put his success down in part to a diet of horse meat and chicken. Four years later, it turned out that two performance-enhancing steroids, Terinabol and Stenozolol, had helped too. If you guys aren't aware, there was a, a ton of retesting, and there's been a ton of retesting of old samples using new technology via WADA and the ITA to uh, basically retroactively ban and sanction athletes. And Ilya Ilyin, who's you know widely known as the goat or one of the goats in the sport, you know he was stripped of one of these medals. So, anyways, Ilyin was stripped of both medals, but in the process of reallocating, or sorry, but the process of reallocating them was complicated by the fact that the Russian who came second, Alexander Ivanov, had also been caught using Tyrannoval too. So had the Moldovan who came in third, Anatoly Sirisu and the Russian who had came fourth, and the Azerbaijanian who finished sixth, and the Kazakh who finished seventh, and the Armenian who finished 11th. And by the time they had finished going through all of the samples, eight of the top 14 had been disqualified and banned, which made it quite possibly the single dirtiest event in Olympic history at a games which had been sold on the promise it would be the cleanest ever. <laughs> I just, I think it's hysterical. You know, we talk about drug use and, and performance enhancing drugs quite a bit on this channel. And it, it's, it's, it's the same issue as, you know, the Lance Armstrong thing, anything really. You know, you go down the line and you find out that in order to actually be competitive in a, in a sport, in, in some sports, I don't think all sports, and I don't think all sports all the time, but in order to be competitive, especially in the Tour de France, and especially in weightlifting, uh, steroids must be in the equation. Today's video is sponsored by Transparent Labs. I've been taking this whey protein for a long time now. If I wanna come even close to a gram of protein per pound body weight, like I have to supplement it with whey, and I think this is the best. Right here, it's grass-fed whey protein isolate, peanut flour, cocoa powder, natural chocolate flavor, sodium chloride, and stevia extract. Seven total ingredients. Nothing artificial in this whatsoever. It's my favorite. They have incredible supplements, guys. So go there now, get your fill of supplements, and use code Zach at checkout. Back to the video. Without further ado, guys, we're going to now watch this session. So this, I think this is the Azerbaijanian guy with 175, great lift. Up, two reds. For those of you that don't understand, weightlifting has one of the silliest rules ever. And it's just so we can make it more of this kind of super scientific gate-kept sport. And it's basically just the elbow rules. Once the bar is lifted from the floor, whether it's the snatch or the jerk portion of the clean and jerk, the bar must go from that freed up position to immediately locked out elbows and they cannot move whatsoever. And so on this, I think they're looking at his right elbow. It went like this. It, it, it probably went like this, just like that, okay? And in the sport of weightlifting, because it's a sport for nerds uh, and it's the one that I chose, they're gonna call that a no lift for whatever reason. And people are gonna argue for the press out call and like I can just show them videos like this and they're like, yep, that's part of the sport. Like, all right, whatever. This is Norik Vardanian and Norik's a fucking awesome dude. He's an American uh, born, 
But his father, if you don't know, was one of the goats of this sport, Yurik Vardanian. I think he has one of the highest Sinclairs of all time, which was a coefficient that was used to determine body weight. It was like basically pound for pound type of uh, calculation for weightlifting. Yurik Vardanian is widely known as one of the greatest athletes to have ever performed in the sport of weightlifting. And uh, this is his son who, for this Olympiad, decided to go and train in Armenia and then lift for Armenia. And he was subsequently uh, tested positive for steroids. So this is his second lift at 175 kilos. And Norik's technique, if you look here, guys, is a lot like his father's. Very straight up and down, not too much bump off of the hips. Yeah, so he he hits pretty low. I don't even know if he hits in the hip crease, but it's straight up and down. Really not too much S curve, uh, which if you look from the side of lifter, bar kind of comes in, hips the hip, goes slightly back out, and then curls back around. We call that the S curve. All right, so now we got horse meat and chicken himself, the goat. Ilya Ilyan out for his first attempt. I'm sure it's, oh, it's 177. Easy. Boom, boom. Now, this is one of the things about these series of, of lifts from Ilya is like he always kind of has a little wobble in the elbow in his snatches. And he got away with it. I mean, the, uh, you know, the Azerbaijanian guy in that previous lift at 175, like he got screwed over. Okay. Paused right now. We have Saeed Mohammed Poor Karkara. Just Saeed Mohammed Poor. Okay. So this is your champion right here. Seventh place. This guy is your champion. Now, I would say this. Probably did steroids as well. Probably did. I don't think Iran, I don't think Iranian weightlifting really makes sure that their athletes are, nat are natural before they go to competition. For some reason, some odd reason, the, B, uh, you know, the, the future testing that they did or the retroactive testing that they did, did came back negative for this guy. Again, this is chance. We're leaving it up to chance. We're leaving it up to so many different things when it comes to testing. So this is our champion. This is the seventh place finisher. Let's watch him lift here. Let's see if he matches Ilya's lift. This is his first attempt. He's got to make at least one, right? Wow. Wow. All right, so he made that lift. I guarantee you that's the only made lift of his. All right. I I can't guarantee it, but I'm, I'm assuming it is. And what I want you guys to look at is the bottom position here. How he slides back. And he's able to save that and sit. That is one of the foundational principles of the snatch that I teach immediately. If you guys want to learn how to snatch and clean and jerk, I have a series of it that was sponsored by Tupood. Please check those videos out. But it starts with the bottom position and that must be your home. If you want to learn how to snatch and you can't be in a proper bottom position, you're not going to optimize the snatch. Now, this is something that's very typical of Iranian lifters. Very typical. They go full send in competition. So there we go. Made lift. And that's our champion right there. So now we have another guy, Anatoly Sirisu, who was also caught with Turin ball. So this is Russian A who was popped. The other Russian, who was also popped, obviously. They are near, snatching near double body weight here, guys. 180 kilos. Like, just load that up on a barbell and try that. Man, the Russians were just technical masters. <laughs> Russians are just technical masters. That's all there is to it. So now we have Mohammed Poor again for a second attempt, earlier attempt. Looked like he didn't have much more to give. I will eat my words. That is crazy. You can see Rezazadeh, the big chungus back there in the back left. I think he had multiple world records for a long time. Was the was one of the bigger snatchers ever in history, other than Krastev, um, until a guy named Lasha Talhadza came around. Okay, so we have uh, the standings now. And just to remind you guys of one of the rules, body weight matters in these Olympics. So like... If you weigh less than somebody, if there's a tie in total kilos, you will be 
ranked ahead of that person. Whereas now the rule is it does not matter what your body weight is as long as you're under the body weight category, right? As long as you fit into it. It does not matter what your body weight is. If you did the weight first, you are going to be ranked higher. Um, so we have Ivanov popped, Ilya popped. I think the South Korean popped and Mohammed Poor actually got fourth place. So yeah, if we look at this top seven, all these guys were banned uh, besides Muhammad Poor. Let's move on to the clean and jerk session here because I want let's we need to watch Ilya Ilian. I, I, first off, I want to see our winner, Muhammad Poor. Actually, a strong clean there. His hands are out pretty wide. Uh, missed lift there. Let's look at the Russian guy's technique. Let me just say this: his outfit is goaded. Straight up. This is this is the best outfit you can wear. This is the best look in weightlifting. It is the compression underneath, the singlet, the knee wraps, the mid calves, and the Addy stars. Great technique. Up, oh, he can't hold it. Where's my boy at? All right, here he is. The goat. So this is an Olympic record right here. Watch how quickly he goes. 228. World record. Now look. So Ilya always does this thing. And Alex, please play a replay while we do this. Ilya steps up. One, two. Sinks his hip and goes. Right? So he doesn't take much time. He actually has this thing where the bar kind of swings away from him. But it like, it gives him more energy coming back. He's got really short legs. The best, strongest front squat like at this time in the history of the sport. After he stands up to clean, the bar always goes one, two, three, and on the third one, on the third oscillation, he always goes. Then he'll catch his jerk, and a lot of times, he will actually recover with his back foot first, which is improper technique, but, but having said that, it's just Ilya's thing. Right? You wanna recover, bringing your front foot back slightly, then your, your back foot forward. Again, this is a world goddamn record. So here we have the Russian trying to answer. Probably looks like 129 on the bar. Yeah. Yeah, no. Didn't even take the... So Ilya won. But this dude's hot and he's got the smelling salts out. He's going back up there. Ilya, horse meat and chicken. The goat. And I know the cameraman's not going to be ready. Why are you zoomed in? Why are you zoomed in? He's about to pull the bar. Booms. One, two, three. Jerk. Easy. Bang. All right. So there you have it, folks. That was the dirtiest session in Olympic history. And it happens to be my favorite sport and your favorite sport, Olympic weightlifting. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. <laughs> Навсегда забуду день, что потерял, научу себя не слышать.